AI content is all around us and it's so hard to detect what content is generated by AI, what is plagiarized and if anything of the facts that we read are even true. And in that case, an AI detector, a plagiarism checker, fact checker becomes super, super, super important. And if you're talking about AI content, humanizing AI content is super important as well. If you're a content creator and Google detects AI in your content, there is no way your content will perform well on Google. If you're a student who has used AI to write your papers and your content does not pass an AI detector, you are doomed because your professors will flag your content as AI. So the solution is to use an AI humanizer. And all these tools cost a lot. Like an AI detector subscription costs about $20 a month. A plagiarism checker costs another $20. Fact checker will cost that. So if you had to have all these four tools, you would have to spend about $60 a month. And we all know it's not very practical to spend $60 on four of these tools. And that is why I am here today to bring to you one tool that has all these four features. An AI detector, a plagiarism checker, a fact checker, an AI humanizer and more. And that tool is called DetectingAI.com. You can head over to the link in the description of this video or on the first comment to check out DetectingAI.com. Today's video is going to be a detailed tutorial on how you can use all these four features of DetectingAI.com and what you need to do to maximize the outputs you get from this tool. So the first thing to do is to head over to the link in the description of this video and go to DetectingAI.com. This is the home page of DetectingAI.com and this is what you will see when you log in to DetectingAI. So let's first talk about the pricing of this tool. You can start with trying this tool for free. It's ideal for trying out the basics, but you have a 5000 character limit. But if you are a serious user, like a content creator, a student, a professor, or a journalist, then you might consider the annual plan. It's only $84 per year. That comes to barely $7 per month. And you can access all these cool tools with no limits the monthly plan is for 14 dollars per month if you want to just try out this tool for a specific project it has a 160,000 character limit and you get 1000 plagiarism checker credits which is a cool option if you're trying out this tool you also have an api pricing which is basically a pay as you go model you can select the number of words you want and the price will change according to that this is only for very specific use cases you also get an all-in-one bundle so this is a very versatile tool it depends on how you plan to use this tool what are your requirements and for how long you need this tool depending on that you can pick any plan that you want all right so now that the pricing is sorted let's talk about the key features of detectingai.com so as you can see on this drop down menu of features there are four tools ai detector a plagiarism checker a fact checker and ai humanizer and there are also other ai tools let's click on this and see what other ai tools are there so we have a sentence rewriter, we have a paragraph generator, we have a rewording tool where you can reword and rephrase your text. We have a paragraph rewriter, a fact checker, a slogan generator, wow, that's so cool. There's an acronym generator, a grammar checker, a paraphraser, a summarizer, a YouTube name generator, an AI story generator, an AI prompt generator, a conclusion generator. There are like so many tools in this one package. It's just amazing how much value you get for your payment of just $14 per month. I am super excited to try this out and show it to you. Let's talk about the AI detector because that is my favorite uh, tool currently right now in the market. For that purpose, I have headed over to ChatGPT and given a prompt, write a 300 word opinion piece about overcoming writer's block. This will be written like a Reddit post. It must sound very human and raw, like it comes from personal experience. So this is the output that I got from ChatGPT. I'm gonna copy it 
head over to detectingai.com. There are two ways of checking a document. You, you can either upload a PDF or a doc file or you can paste the content here. Or, uh, I'm just pasting this content here. I have got the result that there's a 95% probability that this text was entirely written by AI. So now that we know that if you have chat GPT generated content, it's very hard to bypass an AI detector, a powerful AI detector like detectingai.com. Uh, let me also try and see if this works with another AI tool like Claude or DeepSeek. I gave the same prompt to DeepSeek that I gave to ChatGPT and I can get this result. I will copy the result, head over to detectingai.com and I will delete the existing result and paste this here and then let's click on detect AI and see what the results come up to be. So there's a 54% probability this was entirely written by AI, which is quite interesting. Now there's another common AI generator tool that is Claude AI. And I want to test if Claude can generate human enough sounding text that can bypass detectingai.com. I got this text from Claude and then I'll head over to detectingai.com once again, click on this button, paste the text that I got and select detect AI. Again, we got the result that there's a 63.9% probability that this text was likely written by AI. So we have tested detectingai.com with three LLMs, ChatGPT, DeepSeek, and Claude. And in all three cases, we got a positive result that this text was generated by AI, which goes on to prove that detectingai.com is a pretty powerful AI detector. It can beat all these three LLMs that we tested it against. So if you are looking for an AI detector tool that's powerful and reliable, then detectingai.com could be your jam. Don't forget to head over to the link in the description of this video to check out this tool for yourself. Now let's test out the other features. I want to try out the AI humanizer. So I'll click on AI humanizer here and there are two models, Lexi and Cognia. And I will paste the text that I got from Claude AI and I will click on humanize and we'll see what kind of results we get. In a few seconds, I got the humanized text results from uh, the Cognia model of detectingai.com. Let's test it against this built-in AI detector. I have copied this text and I'll open this win in another window. I'll paste this text here and let's click on detect AI. And earlier we had gotten a 60 plus percent probability that it was written by AI. Now we have gotten less than 30 percent probability that this is a human written, uh, this is an AI written content, which is quite good. So now we can see that there are some lines that are highlighted here that are likely AI generated. So what we can do is after humanizing the text, we need to manually edit these lines so they do not sound too AI written and they sound a little bit more human written. That's one option we have. But I'm curious about seeing what the Lexi model does. So I will test the Lexi model as well and click on humanize text. So I already got the result in less than two seconds. I will copy this here and then I'll head over to the AI detector, delete the existing text, paste the new text that I got from the uh, Lexi model of the AI humanizer and I'll click on detect AI. This time we got a 21% probability that this was written by AI, which means the Lexi model seems to be more powerful when it comes to bypassing AI detectors. So this is a very powerful AI humanizer tool that we have right here. And I am super excited for you people to try out detectingai.com by clicking the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts. Now there are other features like the plagiarism checker and the fact checker. So let's try out all of this as well. So I'll open up the plagiarism checker and I'm just going to paste the humanized text that I got from the 
the Lexi model of DetectingAI.com. Let's see if it lights up the plagiarism checker of DetectingAI.com. So we have seen that there is a 49.3% plagiarized content and it has also given us the links from where this content has prob probably been plagiarized from. So this is a very powerful plagiarism checker as well. Uh, but the sentences that are highlighted, it seems to be directly copied from the source. So we can just click on this sentence and it will light up in red that this sentence has directly been copied from this source. And uh, this source, you can see that the entire text has been just copied word for word, which is pretty interesting. So if you are working in an editorial job or if you're working as a professor, somebody who needs to check plagiarism on a daily basis, then the plagiarism checker of DetectingAI.com can be your powerful tool in helping you check out plagiarism in the content that you're looking for. Let's again try out the fact checker. So to test this out, I have asked ChatGPT to write a very fact-based report on road accidents in Guwahati city and write a 300 word news article to be published in a local English newspaper. So this is the report that I got from ChatGPT. It is uh, pretty long and pretty detailed and all the sources are also highlighted. Let's see if the fact checker is good enough to verify the credibility of these sources for me. So I'll click on this AI fact checker, I'll paste my news article here, and then I'll click on check for facts. So here uh, we have gotten the result that there are five true facts, zero false facts, and 11 uncertain facts. So when I click on this one, uh, I'll get that this is true. And there are three sources against which this has been verified. So this is a true thing. Uh, the, the statement is again true, but this one is uncertain. So the reasons for the uncertainty is also given that uh, without specifying the location or type of accident, it's impossible to verify the accuracy. True, so this is not a very solid sentence that you, you can write in any news report that you write. So you have to rephrase this in a way that it can be verified by a fact checker. So this fact checker tool is also an important tool for you as a writer or as a content creator to know if the text that you have written is presentable in a news format because this kind of generic statement is not acceptable. It's a no-go. I don't know why ChatGPT generated this for me. So that was the detailed tutorial of DetectingAI.com. This is a very powerful tool. I am a fan of this tool because it has so many cool features and it would take me an entire day to explore the range of AI tools, this cool AI detector come plagiarism checker, come AI humanizer, come fact checker has. So definitely make sure to check this tool out for yourself. And if you have any cool use cases of this that you personally have explored, please definitely let me know in the comments. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this detailed tutorial of DetectingAI.com. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you know a friend who is looking for an AI detector or an AI humanizer, then please share this video with them so they can learn something new as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content like this. I'll see you again super soon with another new video. Until then, stay awesome and keep hustling. Cheers!